hi everyone my name is rose and welcome back to my channel one thing i have to let you guys know is a big chop is not for everybody so don't go on chopping your hair slashing your hair or thinking that you will pull the big chop off you will cut off that hair and then after a few days you're going to tell yourself oh, what did i do to myself so I know with natural hair most people want to begin from zero, like one inch, for them to know really how to take out their hair. Yes, if you really feel like natural hair is so difficult for you to manage to handle, you can still add zero and that's if you have the head shape to pull off that one inch. Not all head types or shapes can look good with one inch of hair. Trust me, mine inclusive. I don't think I have the shape, the head shape, to pull off hair that is this small. Nah, 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 nah. So that's why I advise you. If you're going to do a big chop, first of all, look at your head shape. Ask somebody who can sincerely give you a sincere opinion. That's it. I love you. Oh girl, I love you, but your head, your shape, the corners of your head, or how round that head is, you cannot pull off a big shape. It's so good for you to know, because after you take a few photos, you will still start feeling, feeling like, you call it, what did I do to myself? That's why it's always good to know your head shape first before you, you cut off your hair completely. Secondly. If you're the kind of person like me who love uh, applying weeds, who love uh, applying, I'm not so much a fan of braids, but uh, if you love applying braids, and uh, you feel like even though you have done this big shop, you are starting this journey for yourself, first of all, not for anybody, you are not comfortable wearing this hair out. What you have to do is wait six months, a year. Oh, a little more months for it to get enough growth. I big chopped my hair completely off my, the first time I did my first big chop in 2010. It was a very big mistake because for almost a year, and you know when you're stressed, hair doesn't grow. I was so stressed about hair that I felt so ugly. I felt so ugly, and I just even back at put on weight, everything around me was really, really, really not working out for myself, for me at that time. So, I remember my husband gave us a trip to the Caribbean, we went to Barbados, and the first thing I did when I reached there was to tell Gayo, keep quiet. The first thing I, I, I did when I reached there was to look for hairstylists to do something with my hair. And the first thing the woman told me, the hair was too short for her to do it or do anything. So, if you really feel you cannot spend six months or more without plating your hair, don't go up to the extreme and do a, an extreme big chop and cut off all your hair off completely. Wait, if your hair is relaxed, you transition a little for six months or a year uh, while plating your hair, while uh, keeping your hair under weave or braiding it. When you see that you have enough growth, you ask your hair stylist, if it's you yourself who um, style your hair, look at your hands. can I plate this? Can I uh, French twist this? Can I corner this? Can I uh, braid this? Can I twist this? Can I pull a certain hairstyle, braid out or twist out, out of this hair? Then you cut that length. Don't rush. I know sometimes you feel, I'm tired of this hair, I just want to chop it off. Like the way I was, girl, if you saw me the last week, every day I was with a scissor in my hand and I was like, this hair is so gone. I almost cut it off in the middle of the night. But, be patient a little bit because your confidence is the most important thing. Your self-esteem is the most important thing. If that hair is not going to leave you with the self-esteem, it's better you leave it and a weave or a wig or braids for some time and then you cut it off after that. Don't go on chopping off your hair like crazy. 
and then after that they start crying what did i do to myself it's what i did to myself the first time and i learned a very big lesson so with this hair like this i feel beautiful it's short yes but i can walk out of home like this i can go to my run and so go to work like this yeah i know for so many years people have been seeing me like this with this much long hair but i it's a change everybody can see i'm looking good i'm looking beautiful and i'm loving it i'm working with confidence i'm working this hair with confidence and um uh, i don't have to explain anything to you but as long as i'm looking beautiful so if you feel you can pull that hair star, you cut it off to the length you want that's the most other important thing you have to know when it comes to big short is that you get tired of short hair. When you move out, when you see everybody with long hair, everybody with braids, every chick with whatever, you get tired. You get tired. And if you don't have enough hair to play on your head, you are going to feel bad. That's why. Even a wig needs hair on your head to hold. Even a wig. Man, I, the most scary thing for me in life is a wig falling off or wind blowing off my wig in public in the middle of people. My God. That's the. You, if you know how I tie my wig, if you know how much pins go down there, because my worst nightmare is the day my ink will ever blow off. I was working with a certain friend of mine. <laughs> She's uh, from Cape Verde. We were walking in the city. We were walking in a certain corner between, <laughs> between so many skyscrapers. And the, <laughs> the wig blew off. We ran after the wig and the wig entered under the bus. Hmm? If you can imagine the humiliation her hair was so untidy down there, and you know this head cap we put on. I don't put on a head cap when I'm applying it with. No, no, no. That's why I hate blue weaves. Because you are forced to put other things under there. I want the moment, if me, my wig goes off, I just flap my hair and keep on moving. If I can run after my wig, I run after my wig and get it. <laughs> so, sis, if you... You know you cannot stay for so many months without short hair. Just a oh, big chop at the length where you are comfortable. You can plate, you can braid, you can apply a wig and you feel like it's holding your hair real clean, they are tight. That's what you have to do. Um, the pros of uh, having a big chop is a uh, versatility versatility and uh, the fact that you can reach your hair you can wash your hair every day even if you want to if you are the kind of person who uses wigs you can just wash your hair every day and apply a wig the next morning until when you feel you come for the enough to wear that hair out so the fact that you can wash your hair every day you can just sleep the way you want even if you don't have a scarf on a bonnet on yeah because don't expect a bonnet or a scarf to hold that to to hold on that onto that head your hair is too short to hold any scarf girl <laughs> i think somebody has to invent a scarf or a bonnet with uh, pins eh? yeah with hooks or pins to hold our head in there because mine never, even with long hair, mine never spend the whole night on. Not even two hours on. I just sleep, I wake up, it's gone. I don't even know where it is. My, my son comes from his bedroom every morning. Mommy, your scarf. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesus. So that's um, another thing. I'm talking about myself. I'm not going to give you a list of pros, cons, or what. I'm just taking, telling you. The things I find like advantages and disadvantages with uh, short hair. So, uh, another advantage is they are hairstyles you can't pull out with long hair. Girl, you see this hair if it's double this size. There is a, they, they are 
like a, you know this a perfect fro, eh? a perfect afro. You can pull out, or you can only pull out a perfect afro with a six month to one year or one and a half years hair, not hair growth of hair. After that, when you start seeing length, like hair starting to reach you and one, it's it gets so difficult to pull out certain stuff. Eh? This, you know, these um spring twists, the ones you use gel and the roll on your finger. I only achieved those ones with the short hair. The moment my hair grew too long. End of story. Forget those hairstyles. So you can get a chance to achieve all those uh, tour hairstyles that you cannot, afford. you can never achieve with long hair. They were certainly if the hair looks good on me, like the way it's like the way it's looking good on me. Huh? Ah, that is seven. I look so good for part seven, guys. Look at me. I can't mean. <laughs> so you ha can pull out so many hairstyles with a tour, eh? And um, yeah, I didn't come with a list. I don't the kind of person who sit there that I can have to research. I just tell things from my head the way my own personal experience. I'm not going to go and read some other person's pros and cons and come and tell you like it's my story. Yeah, our stories are different so if you have had straight hair for the biggest part of your life or you're coming from straight to carry ultra natural hair the only thing i have to tell you is learn to take up the hair you have now this short hair when it is still short if you don't learn to take your this short hair you're never gonna be able to manage natural hair all your life you have to learn this hair so don't Keep on hiding it under a wave, a wig, or whatever, all the time. Give yourself a week or two to take care of your hair. Know how much oil it needs in the day or in a week. Or we, uh, does it need to be oiled every day or after every other day? Does a, a, a living conditioner or lotion work well with my hair? Well, do I need more oil or more lotion? Does lotion bring build up in my hair so that I stop using this product or whatever? This is the time when you have to learn which products works well with your hair and how to really take care of your natural hair. If you don't learn at this stage, it will be so hard for you. There's a time when you learn how to comb. Actually, naturals we don't comb hair. I said it in a certain other video and somebody sent me a message and was like, what are you talking about never combing hair for 10, 11 years? Yes, we only use our fingers to detangle. And another thing, please keep your hands off of your hair all the time. You have styled it while the end of story, go do your other stuff. Not all the time, all the time. Don't be quick your hair, leave your hair alone. Let your hair breathe, grow. Mm? That over manipulation causes breakage. So, um, so that's all what I have for you guys. The most important thing that I want you to know is not to cut your hair to a certain length if you're not comfortable wearing that hair to that. So you have to learn to take care of your hair when it's too short because this is your hair. If you don't learn to take care of it at this stage, you are never going to learn. You fail to take care of your hair now, you're going to be those people who are going to be all the time. Natural hair is so hard to take care of. Natural hair is so difficult. Oh my God, I'm going to go to relax again. I relaxed because I was stupid. I wanted something easy, but I just found out relaxing is more difficult and complicated. Than natural hair. The things I do with my natural hair, I can learn to do them with relaxed hair. So if you don't learn to check out your hair right now, today, you're going to find it hard. Tomorrow, you're going, to, you're going to be the people who are going to be depending on hair salons. And yet, natural hair is supposed to be easy for you to check out your hair by yourself at home. You don't need anybody taking care of your hair. It's you, a hundred percent. Eleven years and never stepped 
a food in the in the air salon and they look at that much hair that I put. So that's why you have to start from zero. I mean, is it I don't mean like cutting your hair to, to, to those inches? No, you don't need to make such a big step. Yeah, you don't need to do your transitioning, leave some growth. This is six months growth. I relaxed my hair in a what exactly? In a last year in June and January, I've cut it off. Last year, 2021, in June 2022, January, I've cut it off. This is the growth that is left behind in these six months. So you do the same thing. You don't need to go to the extreme just to make a point, okay? Well, that's all I have for you for now, and I'm going to be back with more updates on how we are styling, what are we styling. So, see you in the next video. And don't forget to pray. You pray, believe, and hustle. Okay? See you in the next one. Bye for now.